Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I started these videos a few weeks ago. Uh, today I am gonna go through my lipstick drawer with you. Okay, so this is my Urban Decay Vice palette. This guy is the only lipstick palette I have. It's one of the first lip products. Ooh, see me, see my camera, see me. It's one of the first lip products I introduced into my little menagerie of lipsticks here. I have used this lip product, but it's also getting pretty old, so I don't know. I haven't used this color, though, because red, I'm terrified of red, so. This guy here just fell off, and I stuck it in there, trying to get it back on. See all the red lipstick everywhere. Red and I, we just don't, but looking at that, that's actually kind of a pretty color. I might have to use that. So anyways, this is my Urban Decay lip, uh, Vice palette. It, I love it. I have used it um, on multiple occasions. I do love it. It is pretty fantastic. It is in my project pan, though, and, like, I don't ever foresee myself getting through that, that product. So over here I have lipsticks, like bullet lipsticks, and in here I have glosses. This is my, like, little lipstick helpers here. I have some more glosses down in here. And then this is, like, a combination of liquid lips and lip crayons. And there's a gloss in there. Yeah, this is just my backup caddy here. Not, like, backup because I have more than one, but backup because I have no more room for them. And then this is my liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to start over here, back here. These guys are back here because I very rarely use them. They are little Ed Hardy liquid lipsticks that I got. Uh, when I first started this channel and they smell like gas. They smell like gasoline, so I have a really hard time with them. There was five in this set, and I did get rid of one because I just never, ever, ever, ever would wear it. So I did get rid of that. But they smell like gas, so they're just not something I pull for. And they've smelled like that since I purchased them, so it's not like an old smell. That's not what they smell like because they got old. It's just what they smell like, so... <laughs> I have some problems with it, with using them. So here are my little Huda Beauty guys. I love these guys. These are probably my favorite li liquid lipsticks. The comfort comfortability of this liquid lip is amazing. I want to I wanna say that I think that they are probably one of the best matte liquid lipsticks I've ever encountered. And then I also have a little Tardis lip paint, and this is in the color Birthday Suit, and I recently got another one of these that I think I'm going to throw into a giveaway, but this color is really pretty. It's like kind of like this light mauve color. Um, these are my three MAC liquid lipsticks, and this pink I didn't think I would ever wear, but the one time I, oops, dropped that one. The one time I did wear it, I actually popped like some purple out of the Anastasia uh, Aurora Glow Kit on the center, and it looked really beautiful. That is the color personal statement. It's definitely a personal statement. And then this brown, in addition to the other brown, the one that I just dropped. Let me pick that up real quick. These two browns right here. I actually kind of love this one I wear this lighter one I wear quite often it is in the color cafe au chic and this darker brown I wear with it to give it kind of like a ombre lip and it is in the color choco tees so Mac as far as I'm concerned does not have the best liquid lipstick formula but it's also not the worst the next one I have here is just a deluxe sample size of the Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte in the shade 105, I guess. It reminds me a lot of this 
tartar slash paint and birthday suit. They're um, very, very similar in color. I don't know if you guys can even tell, but uh, the lash paint is a bit more like pale than the Makeup Forever one, but they're pretty much the same color. The next two I have here are some Dose of Colors. This is another of my favorite formulas for liquid lipstick. I do have this one, which is in the color Stone, and then I this one's in the color stone and this one's in the color Los Angeles. This is um, a really pretty red. It's kind of like a almost an orange red, but it is more red than orange and it is just beautiful. And this one is just a standard like mauve -y, you know, nude color. I love their liquid lipsticks because of the doe foot. The doe foot is nice and... Um, curved there so it hugs your lip it's very 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 nice i got this always on metallic matte a uh, smashbox color and it is in exo vlada i love this color it's kind of like a rose gold color it is beautiful on the lips and i'm not like a huge metallic lipstick fan but i do have a few of them this one is another one that I have that's a metallic liquid lipstick, and it is by Lipstick Queen, and it is in Cheers from their Famous Last Words lipstick collection. It is also a metallic, it's kind of a metallic burgundy that's real, real pretty. I got this Smashbox B Legendary Liquid Metal in Foiled Brat and it is actually a really pretty berry color a really pretty and then this one is the ColourPop ultra metallic lip in three-way which i actually also love it is kind of a metallic berry as well that's what it looks like it's kind of got this like purple feel to it this one is tartist lip paint in get it I'm not the biggest fan of this color it does kind of it's kind of a lot more orange than I like it to be but it also has that nice um, dipped doe foot that kind of hugs your lips and then this is a color pop ultra satin lip and it is in the color strip again not a color I love I think I got this in a a boxy charm or maybe an ipsy definitely not my favorite this is the Cougar 24 Hour Liquid Lipstick I got in a boxy charm, and I actually really love this liquid lipstick. It is so pretty, and it lasts forever, but it really dries down, like really dries down. So my lips have to be really, really super uh, moisturized in order for me to use it. And then I have some... ABH liquid lipsticks here. This also, these liquid lipsticks also really dry down, so my lips don't like them very much, so I don't wear them very often, but I do have this color, which is in Catnip. This one, which is in Vamp. This one, which is in Vintage, which is really pretty purple. This one is called Sad Girl. I really like this color, but again, it has to be super, super moisturized. This color is Soft Lilac. I love this color. It's so pretty. And then this one, which is in Seraphine. Again, it's super red, but it's an orange red with the orange tone in it. Um, I don't wear those very often because they're super drying on my lips, and my lips are already a little dry sad little lips. In here I have, like I said, some backup stuff. I do have this. This is the Elf Rouge Radiance. I think this is actually, this might, <laughs> this might be a blush. I don't know. It's uh, called Rouge Radiance, so it makes me think it's a blush, but I don't know why it's in my lipstick drawer if it's a blush. I have this Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick that I love, and it is in the shade Berry. I love that these have the attached doe foot to them like a lip gloss or 
like a almost like a chapstick I, I love these. I actually have two of them. I think the other one might be elsewhere, but I also have one of these in the chocolate. So I dropped it. So this is a deluxe sample size of that melted only in a the chocolate one, and it is in chocolate honey. It is a really pretty brown color. I have this one, which I have never opened. Wait, I did open it. It is by Manicadar. I believe I got it in an Ipsy, and it is in the color Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir? Pinot, yeah. It is super red. Again, one of those colors I don't wear very often. This is an LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencil, and it is in a super red color. It actually is more berry than it is red, but... It looks scary, nonetheless. This is... I got this in a free gift with purchase from Ulta. It is the Ulta um, Matte Lip Crayon. And it doesn't have a shade on it. Oh, wait, it does. It's in the shade Soiree. It is a really pretty, like, just berry pink color. Then I have this one, which is my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Escapist. So I bought these, this in particular, because I have a had a partner at work that used to wear a gray one all the time, and it looked phenomenal on her, stayed on all day long, and it seemed to wear well on her, but this did not wear well on me. It was very super patchy. I don't know if maybe it's just the color and maybe I need to try a different color. But also it was super drying and you know when certain liquid lipsticks dry down they give you that nice ring around your mouth. This absolutely did that to me in the most horrible way. So I haven't worn it except for maybe twice. I have a Glossier Lip Balm, CoconutBalm.com that I got in an Ipsy. I love this guy. It did live in my purse for quite some time. And this one, which I have not opened, it is a NYX Lip Lingerie in Satin Ribbon. I don't know if you guys can see that. I was going to get rid of this, but then one of my subscribers was like, why don't you try it with a darker color in the center of your lips and try an ombre lip with it? So I thought, yes, I will do that. And then obviously it's not even, the wrapper's not even taken out of it yet. So I don't wear a lot of lipstick at work, so that might be part of the problem. I have this a day say or a DC, however, high definition liquid lipstick that I got in a BoxyCharm. I do love this liquid lipstick and it is huge, uh, but it doesn't have the color on it. I have to go online to find the color and I totally didn't do that today, but it's like, it's called Cocoa Bear or something like that, but it's not brown. It's more, I guess it's kind of brown, but not really. I hate this kind of doe foot on a lip product though, because I feel like when a lip product has that kind of doe foot on it is when I make the biggest mess. <laughs> then I have this Beauty Creations Long Wear Matte Liquid Lip Gloss. Not liquid lip gloss, matte lip gloss. Which was funny when we got this in BoxyCharm because everybody was like, a matte lip gloss, whatever. So what I have to say about that is it has the longevity of a matte liquid lipstick, and it is matte, like a matte liquid lipstick, but its comfortability is like that of a lip gloss. And it's sticky, like a lip gloss, is the weirdest thing. And the next one I have in here is this Ofra one that I got in an Ipsy. It is the Ipsy Unzipped color, and... Ofra is my next favorite liquid lipstick formula. It is so, so comfortable. When I'm done filming this drawer, I'll bring in my, um, one of my, one of my subscribers called it a purse prisoner. I have several purse prisoners right now, and I'll bring those in and show you those ones too. And a couple of them, I believe two of them are Ofra. I have this Tristique uh, Mini Plumping Lip Balm. If I'm being honest with you, I have not tried this yet. It looks like I have, but I think my daughter maybe stuck her lips on it. 
I've heard that this is amazing. I just got it in a little lip kit from Sephora. Then I have this guy, which is so old, I just need to get rid of it. Like you can't even, it's a vanilla scented lip balm from the company Wink, I believe, but I, it's in this little tin and it's just so cute and had it forever and it still smells super good. So I don't know what I'm doing with it still. Then I have this one, which is a NYX butter lip balm and it is in the, I guess, color Panna Cotta. It's just kind of like a like really pink color. And my six-year-old got into it and thought she needed to eat it. So these guys are my little lip helpers here. I've got a pure, whoops, a pure faux lips plumping lip exfoliator. I love this little lip exfoliator. I have used it quite often. It is actually pretty amazing. I have this guy which is, I've had forever, and it is the Bare Essentials Lip Rubber Upper. You can't even get this anymore, but it's just like a lip moisturizer. And on one end is a sharpener to it, and on the other end is the moisturizer. But it is like literally, if I roll it up, that's as far as it goes. That's what's left. And it's so <laughs> fragile in there. If I put it on my lips, it would probably break. This is one of my favorite lip scrubs. It is the Laura Geller Lip Strip Smoothing Sugar Scrub. And it tastes so good. I'm quite certain you're not supposed to eat it. But it comes on with a, you know, um, kind of like Carmex. It is, it tastes so good. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to lie. I have this Ulta Beauty Lip Primer. I haven't even opened this guy, so. And then I have some Mary Kay Satin Lips Lip Mask and Lip Balm. This stuff is amazing stuff. If you guys have never used it, I suggest you at least get samples of it and try it. So in here, I have all my lip glosses. That is all that is in here. Let me drag them all out. So this one I have and I actually don't like very much so I might declutter this guy. It is a CoverGirl Step 1, Step 2. I don't even remember what it's called. I don't know really what the purpose of this is. Uh, this is my Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in Dominatrix. It's one of my favorite lip glosses. I love it because it's super pigmented that I can wear it on its own but it it's not like drying and mattifying like a liquid lip. This is my Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. And this one's in Papa Don't Peach. I also love this guy. I like gloss. I'm a gloss girl. Um, this is a Smashbox High Shine Lip Gloss that I got free with purchase for in something. I can't even remember what. This one is my Estate Lip Icing that I just recently got in my... I think it was an Ipsy last month in the shade Goody. It's actually a really pretty, pretty color. Uh, this one I haven't even opened. The Alginist Reveal Ultra Shine Anti-Aging Lip Gloss. And it is in the color Blushing Mauve. And I haven't even opened it. So I can't tell you guys anything about it. I need to open it. This is my Elf Pout Perfector. I really don't like this guy. I might declutter him too. And it is in the shade Glow. Actually, this might be good as like a lip topper, like a strobe, but it is a horrible on its own uh, lip product, like lip gloss. And it, it says that it plumps, which is why it's called the Pout Perfector, but it absolutely doesn't. Uh, this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Sepia. I got this uh, as a free gift for purchase. I think I purchased a Brow Wiz and I got this with it. This is my Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in Snobby. I love this. I love this lip gloss so much. I put it on top of a pink and it looks amazing. I put it on top of a red and it looks makes me want to wear the red. I put it on top of a purple and it, oh my gosh, it just makes 
it's just pretty it's just pretty this is my ABH lip gloss in purple rain and I just love it this is a Jasmine LaBelle lip gloss it's a coconut oil lip gloss and I got it in a set from TJ Maxx I believe and there's the color is listed as delight but it's just a really pretty kind of rose goldy color this one I'm assuming is a gloss I got it in an ipsy it's by cosmoholic it has a cute little mirror on it there's no color on the packaging at all and of course it's the sample size and I didn't look up the company or anything this like little naked lady on here totally sells the package right <laughs> Uh, it smells like chocolate, so that's cool, but it's just a little bit too brown for my liking for a gloss, so I have only used it a handful of times. This is my Bite Beauty Cream Lip Gloss in Opal. I actually really love this as a lipstick topper as well. It um, reminds me a lot of a white version of the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe. This is my Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in Snapped. So these guys have the, the coolest packaging. I love this color, but the longevity on these is nothing. It is so poopy. They smell so good, though. They smell like um, Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies, and it makes me want to eat it. And then this was a free gift with purchase. It is an Ulta Beauty Color Rush Lip Gloss in Olivia. I'm assuming that's the color because, again, I have not opened this. All right, then we have my lip glosses. My, I mean my lipsticks, my bullet lipsticks. So let me pull all those guys out of here. So this one is my Laka Cloud Lips. I got this in a BoxyCharm, and it is in the color Storm. And in the tube it looks very like dark brown and menacing like I was like there is no way but on the skin this is actually the color that it is when you apply it so it is actually a really pretty berry tone the next one I have my daughter gotten an ipsy glam bag when she was getting ipsy before I started getting ipsy and it is a ColourPop lippy stick in the color Glam Bag. And it is real pink. It's uh, real pink. <laughs> so I have worn that on occasion, but not very often. This I absolutely love. It's my Marc Jacobs lip pencil. I got this in a set that I purchased at Sephora. And it is in the color Night Mauves. I was wearing it on my lips the other day it is just a really pretty mauve pink color it is super soft in there though so I'm always terrified I'm gonna break it this is a, I actually have three of these they are Pacifica power of love powerful color natural lipsticks they're really nice I'm not a huge fan of the Pacifica brand but their lipsticks are not bad this is the nudie red color it is not really red I don't know why they call it nudie red but it's definitely kind of a pink color uh, this one is sweet one and it is more of a like a berry tone and then this one is Tender Heart. And that is what that one looks like. Uh, that one is my favorite of them. Then I have four Elf Lip Crayons. This one is in the color Dash of Pink. It's very, very pink. This one is mulberry maven and it is also looks super dark in the tube but actually is a nice pretty like fuchsia purple ish color this one is in the color natural and it's 
definitely a nude color. It's like a your lips but better. And this one is in the color Rich Red. And it is definitely a red. And like I said, reds kind of scare me. So uh, this is uh, my Bite Beauty. It's a dual ended lipstick and on one end it has a lipstick called Rose Gold which is a pretty metallic exactly rose gold color. I do love it. It is very pretty on the lips and then the other side is just kind of a pink color. I'm not into this color as much and I did smush it accidentally but it is a very like Barbie pink color and it is the color Fig. And then I've got this Buxom Lip Crayon in Brooklyn, and this is its color. It's very, like, mauve tone. Mauve is, like, my color, I guess. It's like my jam. I love it. I have this Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper that I got in a BoxyCharm that's super red. Actually, I think my daughter got it in a BoxyCharm. And it is a lip plumper, and it does make your lips feel like they're on fire for a second. But it, I mean, it works, but it's super red. I've got this little mini that I got in a lip kit from Sephora. And it is a Fenty Beauty mini in Candy Venom. And you can see the FB in there. I haven't even worn that because it is very, very pink. Then I have this mini, which is a Too Faced mini, and it is in the color Nude Blush. I actually kind of dig this color, but my daughter tried to eat it. I don't know why a six-year-old thinks lipstick is edible, but she does, apparently. And then I have this one, which is the cutest little bullet lipstick. Cutest little <laughs> sample size. It is a sample size of the Urban Decay of Vice lipstick in Big Bang. This color also is in this guy here. So I've used the one in the kit more than I've used that guy. I have this bullet lipstick in, it is Maybelline's New Vivid Brights. And it is, not New Vivid Brights, it was new at the time. It is in Hot Plum. And it reminds me a lot of that Fenty Beauty shade. I don't even know why I have this to be honest. <laughs> I don't know that that's a color I will ever wear. Then I have this Mary Kay color. It is in the color Black Cherry. I actually really, really love this color. I've only worn it a couple times though. I have this Lorac Alter Ego Cream Lipstick in Secret Agent. Lorac is probably one of my, the Alter Ego is probably one of my favorite lipsticks and bullet lipsticks. I love this. It is a very pretty color on the lips. I also have this one which is in Hipster. This is a little more red than I like but it's a deep deep red so it's a really pretty shade. It's just super deep. This is my Kat Von D studded lip in Lolita. It is the only Kat Von D lipstick I have, but I love Kat Von D's studded formula. It is so creamy and so moisturizing on your lips. Then I have this Bite Beauty. It's actually a uh, multi-stick and it is in the color Mocha. It's it's a really pretty like uh, like mauve color. I have this Clinique uh, Matte Petal lipstick that is like bubblegum pink. I also don't know why I have this. I'm not a fan of the Clinique formula, but it's here. So I have this one, which is Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick in Metallic Seduction. This was actually given to me by my neighbor, and I love this lip color. And the first time I wore it, she came over, and I was, she was like, I love your lipstick. And I'm like, it's the one you gave to me. So it's actually kind of comical. And then I have this one, which is in my Project Pan. And I did have three of these guys, but I threw away the other two because 
Uh, they stunk so bad. This is my favorite of the three that I had anyways. Obviously, it's flat, so I have used it quite a bit. But it's so old, it probably needs to go in the garbage as well. But it doesn't smell nearly as bad as the other ones did. So that is the end of my drawer. Let me go get my uh, purse prisoners. I'll be right back. Okay, so my purse prisoners are these guys. of uh, the Fenty Beauty uh, Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. I This is not my favorite gloss, if I'm being honest with you. I do keep it in my purse, though, because it's just a nice gloss to use. The doe foot is huge. Um, it kind of smells like cherries, which isn't my favorite. It reminds me of cough syrup. I'm not sure that that isn't the reason why it's not my favorite. This is my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Barracuda. It's one of my favorite colors, actually. It's my Tarte Natural Beauty Lip Surgent Lip Crayon, and it is in that color. It is a really pretty, pretty color. It's a really pretty, like, deep berry color, and it's super moisturizing on the lips. It's really pretty. All right, the next one I have is my Buxom uh, Lip Cream in Dolly. This is my all-time favorite lip gloss formula. I love Buxom. They are amazing. I do have another one somewhere. I can't remember where, but... And then I have an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Verona. I got this recently in a BoxyCharm. This little set here I got at TG Maxx. I think this set, when it was initially on sale, was on sale for like 64 bucks, And I got it for 25 at TG Maxx. It's got all kinds of nudes and stuff in here. This NYX formula is the Soft Matte Lip Cream formula. I haven't tried it yet. I, I'm really interested in some of these colors down here, this purple here. There's a lot of these that will end up going in a giveaway, though, because I won't wear all these colors. I forgot about these guys. I do have the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. I use this every night when I remember to use it. <laughs> When I remember to use it, it does miraculous things with my lips, if I'm being honest. And then I just got this in my Ipsy bag. It is a Beaker Paris water balm, and this stuff is really pretty fantastic as well. I don't keep it in my purse, though, because it's like 105 degrees here right now, and it's super soupy in there if it starts to melt so so that is it for my lip drawer I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this section of my collection videos I hope that you guys are also enjoying my collection videos if you are please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up letting me know that you are liking this video and I really hope that you'll want to you know think about subscribing on your way out I do upload content three times a week if you hit that big red subscribe button please don't forget to hit the bell so that you are notified when I do upload a video go ahead and leave me some comments down in the comment section let me know which of my lip products you think are fantastic and which ones you've tried and which ones you hated and which ones you liked and so on and so forth and until my next video guys bye